going to have a test of the robot. It's going to fly and throw one dive tube. For safety issues, stay back. <laughs> At the moment, uh, many people talk about bad drones and drones that are spying and killing people. But I think everything has a good side and a bad side. And they should see the good side that are drones that can save lives. RTS Lab was started four years ago and it was uh, based in university with a team of uh, students working on robotics for competitions and it soon developed with uh, good results in these competitions and became a lab uh, that is now based in Tehran. We don't believe in uh, building missiles and stuff that will one day be used for destruction and killing people. We try our best to save people and build devices that can help. This came from our religious beliefs that a phase from the Holy Quran says, whoever saves a human life has saved mankind entirely. Unfortunately, it's seen many people drown at the Caspian Sea in Iran. In a four year period, more than 1,100 people have died. So we tried to build a device that could help in such situations. Pars Area Rescue Robot is a robot that is going to be used at the coasts for saving human lives. We started with a surface rescue robot, a submarine rescue robot, and we finally saw Area Rescue Robot the best choice to help in such situations. This is the future of lifeguards, I believe. These drones can be hovering at the coast, and if any problem occurs, they can fastly go and do their mission to save people. They can be used on ships. When somebody falls from a ship, it might take to, uh, 10 to 12 minutes for them to get rescue to the person drowning. But uh, with uh, parts on the ship, we can fastly get to the person and give him first aid to stay on water until rescue teams reach him. A problem that rescue teams have is that they can't rescue well at night. When they lose people or people drown, they have to move uh, with boats. They don't have good vision at the sea. So this robot can give a good vision from above and we can find people with thermal cameras easily at night. As you can see in the tests that we done at the Caspian Sea, there was a competition between the robot and the lifeguard. The robot did the mission in 22 seconds, but the lifeguard did the same mission in 91 seconds. That's a 70 second difference it can be very important for saving human lives. These are the developments of the lab in the future. So this platform can be used on water and we can charge it from solar cell. We can use satellites for information. National companies want to buy 23 drones to use them at the coast, but we have told them to wait so we can see how the final prototypes work at the Caspian Sea, so we can sell them 22 or three robots. News about PARS was published worldwide. More than 17 countries contacted us to build, invest, and develop the robot. I love research, and on the other hand, I love helping people. So I do research that helps people. These drones will be our future and in the future we will have many of these drones saving lives all over the globe. This can be in the coasts and this can be in the city and everywhere. It doesn't mean just parse. It means all robots that can save lives. <laughs>